Uh, yes, this is not likely. Uh, the simple fact is that it's not just about India, it's also about Brazil and South Africa. These are countries that are partners of the U.S. They cooperate on multiple areas, whether it's a good trade relationship in the case of Brazil, climate change, uh, and a whole host of issues. And they are not interested in picking sides. And that means uh, aligning with the U.S. against Russia and China in most cases, although India is a, a bit of an exception on China, uh, but certainly not aligning with Russia and China against the U.S. So. BRICS is an interesting coalition of what I would call the global east, which is the Russia and China uh, increasingly aligned, and three very important global south states that have their own interests. Now, both sides of the fence, if you will, the east and the south, have common areas that they can work on and think add value to each of them. And that's the basis of BRICS. So, trying to turn it into a block that is opposed to the U.S.-led uh, alliance system in Europe or Asia is, is a non-starter. So it's Global East versus Global South, the Global South led by India. Uh, what is their ace card? Uh, is it simply uh, uh, potential veto power? Because uh, we understand that one of the criteria for uh, membership joining uh, BRICS, and this must be uh, being pushed by China, is that uh, new members must first become members of what's known as the, the New Development Bank, which is a Shanghai-based institution. Yes, so expansion is seriously on the agenda, at least under discussion. And uh, China is most enthusiastic about pushing expansion because it is trying to create an alternative and actually a, a kind of a balancing uh, structure to the U.S.-led uh, West because we are seeing a very difficult relationship between the U.S. and China, even worse between the U.S. and uh, Russia. So this is certainly China's ambition. Uh, but that doesn't mean that uh, the rest of uh, the members are going to do that. I think the expansion for them is more about having a larger uh, club, which can work on the things that the Global South agrees with, on, with China, Russia, and indeed the rest, rest, of its, uh, rest of its countries. So we are talking of things like uh, climate action. We are talking of things like uh, pushing for reforms to the international uh, financial structure, uh, we are talking about a, a different approach uh, to the Ukraine war. So these are areas where the Global South and China or Russia or both have substantial overlaps and, and the coalition is really focused on, on those areas where, where they can see they can see win-wins. And expansion uh, can indeed strengthen that potential uh, potential win-win within, 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 uh, within those spaces.